Hello, welcome to the compliment chain. Uh, so basically the way this works is I've sort of been involved in this because a guy called Mike the Vegan decided to chuck some compliments my way. Cheers for the love, Mike, you're a top bloke. Appreciate your channel. Um, and it started with a guy called Hench Herbivore. Uh, check out, all the channels will be li linked below that I mentioned. Uh, but he decided to start this really beautiful idea just to spread like some appreciation around. Uh, he gave a shout out to Vegan Mental Health, aka Miriam. Hey Miriam. Um, that got passed on to Jake Eames. Jake Eames passed it on to Mike the Vegan, now it's my turn. So uh, the idea is, for those who don't get it yet, is that you pass on, um, you, you're just someone that you appreciate. Let them know you appreciate them, like another vegan YouTube channel. And um, I'm going to break the rules a little bit. Um, I'm going to pick three people, or technically four. Um, so first up, uh, kind of one unit, but two people, is that vegan couple. Uh, I was fortunate enough to meet them recently, went and watched the new Star Wars with them uh, in Chiang Mai. And um, yeah, Natasha and Luca, just like really beautiful examples of like people who've dedicated themselves to spreading the vegan message and just so driven by their passion, you know, as a couple. Um, they're, they're really like a force to be reckoned with, I reckon. <laughs> force to be reckoned with, I reckon. Star Wars. But yeah, I, I think they're great. It's, um, and they're just examples of their videos. It's like when they, when they call people out for doing the wrong thing, they're not coming out from a place of sort of like anger. I think they're just like trying to hold people up to a higher standard and just they can really see the world for how it is. And I respect that. And having met them, like they're genuinely like they're genuinely like that. Some of the most sincere people I've ever met. And then like the most hospitable person I think I've ever met is number two, which is uh, Klaus, aka Klaus in the greenhouse. I was, um, you know, I've lived with the guy for like over a month earlier this year. Um, kind of miss him a little bit, like top bloke. And I, I just think he's like, he's like the mates I had at school who weren't vegan, but he's vegan as well. And he's just got so much time for everyone. Uh, what he's doing is he's really providing a service for the vegan community, creating a lot of hope. And if you haven't checked out his vegan 2015 film yet, uh, he put some serious fucking effort into that and uh, it shows. Um, and we were all really moved by that when Gary Rofsky like shared that on his Facebook group. And I think it gave him a bit of motivation as well. And if there's one thing Klaus does is he makes, he makes veganism feel like it's a, uh, you know, it's not a dream, it's happening right now. And that's really exciting, I and mean, the community needs that. He puts a lot of fucking work into it, so definitely check out his channel if you haven't yet. And then the third one is a channel that doesn't actually make videos, so I don't know whether this will continue or this will uh, die off, but... Um, Disco Nuovo, 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 is... Um, who the fuck is Disco? Like, if you don't know, neither do I. Uh, they run my fucking Facebook account. They're another vegan revolution, basically, um, except they seem to be connected to everyone. The term veganjelical applies, same as the word evangelical, but veganjelical, and they're just like a vegan guardian angel to everyone. They're more anonymous than me. Uh, I'm not even sure if it's a woman, where they are in the world, but they've made a lot of shit happen, whether it's been like helping Paul Simeon out when he was a bit broke, sent him in a whole bag of dates and like a book that really like changed his mind, chatting to him about that. Or like Kerry McCarpet, knew them from getting some like random tickets to a cowspiracy gig or something so yeah just he's this is anonymous someone more anonymous than me i've got to respect that so there's a free natasha and luca nicest people ever uh and klaus nicest person ever as well <laughs> and disco who who the fuck is disco nobody knows but um like i love their attitude man and uh, it's good to have you part of the team, Disco. So um, they're my three. If you can pass it on, continue the compliment chain. I uh, look forward to seeing who you guys pick. And thanks for doing what you all do. See ya. Listen up,